again and thank you for following Microsoft Canada's toddler tutorials. In the first two sessions of this series, we talked about the menus and features of the main Winbox interface and discussed how you can make your very first connection to a device. In this session, we will deal with the basic Winbox menus and options on the interface of a device session. To connect to your device, as discussed in the last session, click on your device's MAC address and type in the word admin as the username without any passwords. As you can see, I have also checked the open a new window option in order to keep this main Winbox window open. Afterward, simply click on connect to connect to your device for the very first time. This is the default configuration for this device and for now, I'm going to click OK in order to accept and keep the default settings. At the top of this session window, you can see different pieces of information, including your username, your device's MAC address, the version of your device's firmware packages, the type of your device, and its CPU architecture. The first menu here is titled Session. Apart from the four basic options of New, Open, Save, and Save As, it has an Auto Save on Close feature that automatically saves your operation upon exit. In addition, it has a Close All Windows option that is particularly useful in case you have opened a number of menus and have cluttered this session window. And finally, you also have the two options of Disconnect and Exit. In the settings menu, you have four options, inline comments, hide passwords, zoom in and zoom out. The zoom features work as they did in the main Winbox interface. By zooming in and out, you can make the available texts and menus larger or smaller. In case you are working in a window with a lot of information, you can zoom out for a better view of the window or zoom in so that you can read the information more easily. As for the inline comments feature, you should know that you have the option of adding comments to your configurations in different Winbox windows, which is shown by this yellow object. The comments you add will be shown above the row to which you have added the comment. By using the inline comments option, your comments will be moved to a column at the end of their respective rows so that your window and table are not crowded. The other feature in the settings menu is titled Hide Passwords. As the name suggests, this option is used when you want to conceal your passwords for security reasons. When checked, password characters will be shown as asterisks. For instance, if I go to the radius menu on the left and set a password, all characters in this field will be shown as asterisks. However, if I uncheck the Hide Password option, my password will be revealed. This option works in all Winbox windows except one. When creating a user from the user menu under system, the password that you set will always be shown with asterisks, regardless of using the hide passwords option or not. The third menu, titled Dashboard, gives you five pieces of information, namely time, date, CPU usage, memory, and uptime. By clicking on each of these items, your selected item will be shown on the right-hand side of this blank space. Alternatively, you can right-click on this blank bar to access these five items. Also, Right-clicking on each separate item enables you to remove that item or again access and add the other options.
In addition to the drop-down menus, you have a few other options. Firstly, you have the two undo and redo arrows that operate based on the history of your actions. Next, you have the Safe Mode button. The Safe Mode button is a very useful tool when you are configuring your device. If you turn Safe Mode on, all the changes you have made will be reversed and rolled back once you exit your device's session. For example, if I turn the Safe Mode on and create a new user, I will be warned that my changes within the Safe Mode period will be rolled back after I exit. Thus, I can either accept and quit or click no in order to go back and turn safe mode off before exiting this session. One small tool that usually escapes the attention of Microsoft users is the little green box on the top right corner. If you look closely, you will see a small bright green pulsating bar inside this dark green box when you are working on a device. This green pulse indicates a steady connection between your computer and your Microsoft device via the Winbox utility. So make sure you keep an eye on this box when setting up your device. And finally, you have all the configuration menus on the left. These menus offer you an extensive range of features and we have so much to discuss in the future. For now, just remember that if you're new to Winbox, you can use the Quick Set menu to make some limited basic configurations. Otherwise, you have all the menus here for professional, detailed setup based on your needs. Also, bear in mind that the submenus that can be found here are all sorted alphabetically for more convenience. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this session as well. Now that you have become familiar with Winbox, stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will talk in detail about all you need to know about Microtech devices and router OS. Also, if you have any comments, let us know. We would love to hear from you. Take care and stay safe.